Hello everyone and welcome again to another episode of our new tutorial series The Unity Beginner Guide And welcome and I hope you are going to enjoy this tutorial series And we are going to start making games after we finish the beginner guide of course <laughs> So let's get started in this tutorial for today So in the last episode we learned guys how to use the uh, Unity interface right We learned about the hierarchy, the scene, the game, the project etc Right now we are going to learn more stuff And we are going to learn how we can move inside the Unity uh, interface i mean how we can move them how we can move our object and do stuff like this so let's get started directly uh, <laughs> to it or let's jump right into it i don't know what to say so let's just get started <laughs> for the for starter you can see that when i move my uh, my cursor between those two windows between the scene windows in the hierarchy windows we have this uh, arrow here right it means that we can expand Expand any uh, window that we want so we can make any window bigger or sw or uh, smaller however we see it fit in our project of course we can do the same for this area here and we have another one this is the console uh, window we didn't talk about this console window but we are going to do uh, soon enough so those are windows here and you can manipulate them however you see it fit and of course you can add more windows if you see in the top corner here we have this window if you click it we will have all these new windows here we have scene game inspector hierarchy project console test runner and the rendering one we have the light settings in animation we have our animation the animator we have audio mixer and all those stuff we are going to see all this stuff one by one guys and we are going to be using them in our project so you can open any window you want basically and once you open a window let's for example open uh, an animator window when you click it will open like in this area here and you can click on the top name of your window and you can move it around however you, you want for example i put this one here and i can move this one i can drop it in this area here I can move it here, I can move it here, or I can drop it here, or I can dock it with those two, one here, and we still have our game scene manager here, and we will have our animator windows here in this uh, bottom corner here. And of course, if you do a uh, right click, you can close any tab that you want, and stuff like this. It's really normal, as if you're using... Uh, your windows your uh, your windows uh, explorer or using uh, photoshop or any other uh, uh, software basically so this is really easy guys to do it and the other thing that we are going to talk about is how we can move inside our uh, scene window here because this is mainly the scene we are going to focus on all this series and every everything you are going to do basically is going to be inside your scene here so the first thing how you can zoom in and zoom out in your uh, scene it's really easy guys just use your scroll mouse mouse i mean <laughs> if you use this scroll in your uh, in your mouse like this you can zoom in and zoom out really just like this easily so i will really rec recommend you guys to use a mouse that have uh, three points like with uh, two button and underscore in the middle so you can use it uh, really easy and don't work with your uh, laptop uh, cursor mouse pad because it's really bad if to use it in unity you need to buy uh, a mouse so this is how you can navigate zoom in into the mouse just scrolling with your mouse scroll and to uh, navigate navigate in the scene all you have to do is right click if you do a right click like this you can move like this in your scene as you can see i'm moving in my scene just like this this is basically a 2d scene right so what if we have a 3d scene let me switch this 3d into a 2d scene just like this and right now we have a 3d scene when you do the right click again this this time we have this a here right it show us the perspective of our view 
so right now we are in a 3d uh, dimension so we are going to have this uh, a like this and as you can see in the top corner here we have those uh, x y and z corners and you can click them and switch to any corner that you want really cool guys so i will switch back to 2d for now and we have our 2d scene here it's really easy so right now we are going to learn about how we can move inside our uh, scene windows so how to move inside our windows it's really easy guys as i showed you before you just click and drop and uh, drag like this your window this is a 3d window right now so we can just click and drag like this to navigate in our 2d scene and if we want to switch let's say for example i will select this one here and uh, let me switch it to my hand one here just like this so i can show you this is of course the hand tool the hand tool has the shortcut for uh, q in your keyboard if you press q you will switch to the hand tool and you can just click and drag like this and if you want to move this uh, circle here you click w in your keyboard and it will switch you back to those movement uh, tool so you can move your uh, game object according to the coordinate you are dragging your game object let's say for example i'm going to draw this to drag this i mean to uh, uh, according to my x coordinate as you can see if i click and drag like this i am making a movement just to my uh, x axis and as you can see here i just changed my x uh, position to 4 let's make it 5 like this click ok and now we have it at 5 and if we drag it to the right or the left as you can see we are making our x bigger and if we drag it according to the y uh, axis as you can see we are changing our uh, uh, y axis it's really easy guys and if you click e in your keyboard it's e you will switch to this rotation mode here and as you can see if we move our cursor here on top of this area here you will uh, see this rotate tool appear and of course we can rotate these uh, objects according to the x y and z coordinate again so if we drag it like this as you can see i'm making a rotation according to my z uh, uh, axis and if we uh, touch this uh, yellow one here uh, i mean this this <laughs> sorry i'm still using the, the z if we drag this uh, red one here as you can see that is our y uh, rotation and of course the green one is for our uh, other one as you can see we can drag it however we want we can make it rotate however we can see it even we are using only a 2d uh, a 2d uh, game objects but we can rotate anything we want inside this uh, game of course as you can see we can move it however we want if you click r in your keyboard we are going to this scale one and if you click this uh let's say this game object here we can scale it however we want according again to any uh, axis we want and if you want to let's say move or scale or rotate all the uh, axis at the same time all you have to click is this box as you can see this box here and this one will scale it uh all of them at the same time this is really cool guys and if you hit t in your keyboard we are going to switch to this tool here this is uh if i really remember this is direct tool of course we know what we can do with this you can scale something like this you can even rotate let me just try to get the rotation mode just like this as you can see we can rotate and we can scale on the want. those tools really guys easy to understand and uh, you can be familiar with them really really easy guys so q for the hand w for the move tool e for the rotation r for the scale and t for the rect those are the principle you need to move uh, to learn just so you can move your game objects inside your uh, unity scene as easy as you want 
So this is it guys for this video, I hope you learned how you can navigate inside Unity, this, is, this was a quick video just showing you how we can, you can navigate using your Q, W, E, R, T uh, in your keyboard, so you can navigate inside Unity however you want and how easy you can navigate, this is really cool guys, and I hope you learned something in this episode, in the next episode we are going to see how we can create more scene how we can manage uh, our scenes and we are going to start learning some new and cool stuff and of course we are going to install uh, the visual studio in the next episode so i hope you uh, you like what we are doing till now this is really boring but this is the beginning guys the beginning is always boring and really basic stuff i hope we are going to make cool stuff by the end of this beginner guide so i hope to see you guys in the next episode subscribe and like like if you do like what we do and i hope to see you in the next episode guys love you